start recording. You have Stellar Blade in the way. Yeah, I got it. Um, my cousin, my, another cousin who plays video games, was like, you know what? It was pretty good. So I got it. Oh, oh. A beach. Ooh. Danganronpa. Option. BGM volume can stay high, sound effects can go... Can go low. I hate sound effects volumes. Voice high. Reticle? Speed? What's reticle? I'll let it leave it. Maybe a movement bob. See whether it views bob. No. Um, okay. New game. English. Uh, logic difficulty. Action, action, gentle. Because I don't. What logic? I'll do normal. Okay. Dango bango. I'm finally doing it, Regal. <laughs> okay. So the only thing I know about this game, because I did see the game grump start to play it, and then I saw the first murder. But I didn't see after that, so I do know who gets killed off first. After that, I know nothing. So, here we go. Yeah, I, I used to be... Um, this one have Miyuki Sawashita character? I don't know. Well, I'm playing in English, so I don't think we'll hear the Japanese voices. He's in purple school clothes with glasses? Honestly, the only character I remember is, um... <laughs> is the girl with blue hair. Because there's this Japanese guy who just covered his house entirely in pictures of her. I don't remember her name. The massive high school towers over all other buildings in this bustling urban area. It's like the school stands at the center of the entire world. Hope's Peak Academy. It brings in top students from every field imaginable, a government-funded school of privilege. They say that if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. With hundreds of years of tradition, it sends the cream of the crop into the workforce every year. It was built to raise hope in the nation's future, which makes Hope's Peak a pretty fitting name. There are two things you need to attend to school. One, you have to already be attending high school. Two, you have to be the very best at what you do. No ordinary student could enroll here. The only way in is if you're scouted by the school itself. And standing there at the gate of the ultimate school filled with the ultimate students... ...was me. Before we go any farther, I guess I should introduce myself. My name's Makoto Nae. Here's my demo reel to be a voice actor. <laughs> As you can see, I'm nothing but a hopelessly average high school student. Average on the outside, average on the inside. I really don't have much going for me when it comes to grades, special abilities, even personality. I mean, yeah, I have hobbies and stuff I like to do, but it's not like I'm a psychic or mutant or whatever. Like, if you ask me what my favorite song was, or my favorite movie or TV show, it'll just be whatever's most popular at that particular moment. Even among the average, I'm completely average, so I can't even say I'm your everyday hero type. That's just who I am. Anyway, I figure it's always good to introduce yourself right off the bat. But you know, if I have any kind of strong point, so to speak, I'd say I'm a little more gung-ho than other people. I mean, look at me. I'm completely ordinary, but still. Here I am, standing in front of anything but ordinary Hope's Peak Academy. I still can't believe I'm standing here. I wonder if someone like me can survive in a place like this. It's got this overwhelming presence, like it's trying to swallow me whole. But it's no wonder I would feel that way. What you have to understand is... Well, let me just tell you about the preparation I did last night to get ready for today. What? Host Peak only invites those students who are the truly elite in their field. It's such a popular topic, there are threads online dedicated to talking about the school's attendees. So to prepare, I looked up some of those threads. And all I saw was talk about ultimate students, who are way beyond your average high schooler. For example, uh, one incoming student is the ultimate pop sensation. I guess she's a high school girl who's also the lead singer for a pop group famous all over the country. 
How's she attending high school then? <laughs> okay. There's also the ultimate baseball star. He was the cleanup hitter for the national high school champs. Pro teams already have their eyes on him. Oh gosh, please don't do flashing. Then there's the ultimate fashionista. Why are they focusing on her so much? She's been on the cover of tons of fashion magazines. She's what every high school girl wants to be. Biker gangs in your neighborhood. Oh, and they mentioned the ultimate biker gang leader too. The scary thing is, he's the de facto leader of every biker gang in Japan. Gangs everywhere love the guy. On top of that, there's the ultimate martial artist, the ultimate fanfic creator. Wow. The ultimate gambler, the ultimate swimming pro, the ultimate programmer, the ultimate clairvoyant, and then some. Reading that made me realize how totally powerless I was. It was the country's finest, top to bottom. I felt like a tame little house cat who'd wander in a, into a pride of lions. But still, there was something I couldn't stop thinking about. You see, there were a few students who I couldn't find any info on, no matter how much I looked. With all those ultimate students, I'm the only one without any kind of worthwhile talent. But then, what about those other new students who didn't seem to pop up anywhere? Could they just be average students like me without any talent or anything? That thought was kind of encouraging. I mean, I know I don't have much in the way of personality. But beyond that, there's an even bigger issue. How did such an unbelievably average student like me get picked to come to this ultimate high school? Shoot, are the audio levels okay? Is it too high? I'll still be here, I'm gonna eat my food. Okay, enjoy your food! I'm gonna lower the volume just a tad. Okay, yeah, I didn't do any um, pre-mixing, so I hope the volume's not too high. I mean, I guess there is a reason. You just have to take one glance at the acceptance letter they sent me to see why. We recently held a lottery to select one ordinary student to attend our school. As a result, you have been selected, and we invite you to join as the ultimate lucky student. They spell it out plain as day. I got invited by pure luck. Honestly, I probably would have been better off just declining their offer. But after hearing how graduating was a guarantee for success later in life, I just couldn't say no. But then, actually standing there in front of the school, I started to feel- Can you just walk into the school already? <laughs> oh, I didn't feel like belong there. I could feel myself losing my nerve. But still, I can't just stand here in front of the gate forever. Frozen in place, murmuring to myself, I looked down at the acceptance letter clutched in my hand. It said there'd be a meeting for all incoming students in the main hall at 8am. The meeting still isn't for a little while, but I should probably just head in. Yeah. Yeah, let's do this. I gathered up all my determination and tried to act like I'd done this a million times before. And I took my first step toward the main hall. This is where we're supposed to meet, right? I guess I'm the first one here. There's a really elegant clock over in the corner. It says it's 7.10 a.m. The meeting doesn't start until 8 o'clock, so there's still a full 50 minutes left. It makes sense no one else would be here yet. I was so wound up, I got here way too early. I have plenty of time before the meeting, just standing around and waiting isn't exactly... I should take a look around the school. Maybe that'll help me calm down a little. I am a student here now, but there shouldn't be any problem with me having a look around, right? How come sometimes the font is blue and sometimes it's white? It'll help me kill some time if nothing else. Trying to play it cool, I took my first step into Hope's Peak Academy. It was also my first step towards starting a new life at a new school. At least that's what I was hoping for. Okay. What the? But the instant I took that first step forward, my view became warped, twisted. It was like some kind of delusion, melting away and mixing together into something else. Spinning, mixing, melting away, then spinning again. And the next moment... Everything went black. That was how it all began. And how life as I knew it came to an end. At that point, I should have realized. The reason I was brought to Hope's Peak Academy wasn't because I had ultimate good luck. It was so I could experience ultimate despair. Welcome to despair. Prologue. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll save. Huh? Mm -hmm. What? Where am I? I woke up with my head resting on top of a hard wooden desk. My body feels heavy, palm sweaty, arm spaghetti. <laughs> Mom spaghetti, whoops. <laughs> it's pretty normal for me to zonk off in the middle of some boring class or whatever, but what was I doing asleep here just now? This isn't a classroom I've been in before. What the heck is going on?
Welcome to Host Peak Academy. Firstly, we'd like to explain the basic controls. You can use the left stick to adjust your aim. If you would aim at an object you can interact with, you can press the X button, and presto, you'll investigate that object. Use the directional buttons, blah blah. Adjust your viewpoint. Why don't you try looking around the classroom? Oh no, I do not like this moving around. Ah. That's the desk I fell asleep on. I can still see a line of jewel I must have left there. I'll have to clean that up later. Hey, what's that on the desk? An orientation guide. It's some kind of cheap looking pamphlet, and there's something handwritten on it. The next semester is about to start. Starting today, this school will be your entire world. What the hell? Is this someone's idea of a joke? There's a TV. The school is funded by the national government, so I guess it's not that weird to have TVs in here. Something feels off. I wonder what it is. Maybe I should turn sound effects a little higher. <laughs> Gee, I can't believe it's already 8 o'clock. It was just after 7 when I first got here. Has it really been almost an hour since then? Uh... Oh, I want the menu. Oh, no. Ooh! Oh, so that's things I could interact with if I press, um, X. But I want the menu. I want to raise the... Okay, never mind. Is that a surveillance camera? It's a dangerous world we live in. I guess they have these to keep weirdos from just wandering in. Then wouldn't they have it at the door? What the heck? In any normal classroom, that's where a window would, should be. But it looks like some kind of metal plate has been bolted over it. And if I were to knock on it... Bang bang! Yep, definitely metal. Thick, too. Very solid. That's what she said. Uh, wait, that's not what matters here. More importantly, why are there metal plates over the windows? To the window, to the wall. Okay, let's see. So what might have happened is, I got myself so wound up, I passed out in the main hall and then someone carried me here. If that's true, it must mean this is a classroom inside Hope's Peak. But then if that's true, that just raises more questions. This is all really strange. I mean, those metal plates covering the windows, it's like a prison or something. None of this makes any sense. I should probably head back to the main hall. It's already past the meeting time. There might be other students there now. You can leave the classroom by pressing the circle button. No, I want to uh, explore more. Okay, so I can only explore if I'm at a certain viewpoint. I can exit through the area, yes. Geez, this hallway's kind of weird, too. It's getting stranger by the second. I honestly have no idea what's going on. Well, for now, I'll just head to the main hall. Use the left stick to move through the hallway. Hold down the circle button while moving to run. Also, you can press the triangle button to bring up a map. Uh, press the triangle button to close the map. How convenient. No, I have to move? Oh, this is... This is why I did wanted to play... A visual novel game so I didn't have to move but I am moving they said I could press um, square to run I'm not running I get very dizzy so I have to go to the gym I'm assuming this way hi the gym the handle didn't move at all never mind not going to the gym. Um, that's closed off. Oh wait, no, they said main hall. <sighs> Gotta try not to move the camera around too much. By the time I got back to the main hall, everyone else was already there. Whoa, hey! Another new kid? Huh? Then you guys are all- Oh my. Yeah. We're all new here. Today's supposed to be our first day of class. So hey, is that girl? Counting him, that makes 15. Seems like a good cutoff point, but I wonder if this is everyone. Stop going back and forth. Why can't you have them all in one screen? Standing before me were the ultimate students that had been handpicked by the school. I looked around at everyone who'd gathered there, taking in their faces one at a time. Maybe I was just imagining it, but I swear I could feel a kind of aura coming from each of them. Ooh. I see her, she's in the center. Woo, woo! Um, how's it going? My name's Makoto Naegi. Sorry I'm late, a bunch of stuff happened, and then all of a sudden I was just asleep. Huh? Whoa, you too? Mm. Oh no, do I have to think of voices for all of them? Things just keep getting curiouser and curiouser. Mm -hmm. So strange, I declare beyond a shadow of a doubt that this is a strange situation indeed. Um, what are you talking about? I honestly have no idea what's going on right now. Just a moment! There's something else we must address! 
Listen to me. Please stop shaking. I thought I turned shaking off. Makoto, your tardiness is unacceptable. Surely you were aware the meeting was to start at 8 a.m. sharp. To be late on your first day is unspeakable. I must report you, and you must accept your due punishment. What? What's your problem? It's not like he wanted to be late. He didn't have any control over it. That's right. Everyone just calm down. Listen, why don't we all go around and introduce ourselves? Huh? The hell? Now's no time for friggin' introductions. <laughs> Maybe, but it may be good to at least find out who we all are before digging into bigger problems here. I mean, how are we even supposed to talk to each other if we do not know each other's names? Yeah. That's a good point. Um... Okay, so let's get introductions out of the way. Then we can move on to whatever else. Sound good? I'm still totally lost, but I think it's best just to focus on getting to know each other for now. So I guess this is as good a chance as I'm gonna get. I already looked up everyone up on that Hope's Peak Academy thread online, but... I still don't really know what kind of people they actually are. Time to find out. I'll start by talking to those five over there. Aim at a student and press the X button to talk to them. Each conversation is important to the overall story, so keep track of how they go. Is it this girl? Um, I think these are the only five I could talk to so far. I'll go left to right. Kiyotaka Ishimaru. I'm Kiyotaka Ishimaru. I believe in bold simplicity. Let's work together on our educational crusade. Hey, your jaw isn't straight. <laughs> oh, that's her? Okay. So that's Kiyotaka. According to what I saw about him on that thread, he went to a famous private school and won top honors every year. He's basically a flawless honor student. He's also known for the work he's done with his community's public morals committee. They say he respects rules above all else, earning him the title of Ultimate Moral Compass. Okay. Anyway, you can call me Taka. Oh, I forgot, this is him talking. You said your name was Makoto Naegi, right? That's a good name. A strong name. You should thank your parents for giving you such an excellent name. You hear me? And to keep that name from losing its value, you must devote yourself every single day. Got it! Life is worth putting every ounce of effort into it, right? Right. This guy is kind of annoying. <laughs> Woo! Samajiro! Not that you'll remember my name anyway, but... I'm Toko. Toko Fukawa. Writing prodigy. Okay. Yeah, she wrote a novel when she was 10 that got everyone talking and launched her literary career. Then two years ago, she released So Lingers the Ocean, a love story said to be her masterpiece. The book was such a hit with women that fishermen quickly shot to the top of every hottest men pool. <laughs> Despite her age, she won countless literary prizes and her all her books are instant bestsellers, which is why she's come to be known as the ultimate writing prodigy. What else would you call such a young and talented author? But I figured she'd be a lovey-dovey type, what with all her masterpiece being a romance and all. What's your problem? It's not polite to stare, you know. What the heck? S stop staring at me like I'm some filthy creature. Filthy creature? No, I just thought... <laughs> I know what you just thought. You thought you've never seen such an ugly woman. You just th thought it was so funny. Oh my gosh, oh no, Nanoja, oh no. Sawashiro Miyuki voiced her? It's like the best Sawashiro you'll ever know, and I'm a joke. Okay, I guess I'll take a listen to her Japanese voice after this. No, that's not what I was thinking at all. I'm telling you! Don't even- don't bother trying to lie to me! I know it's true, otherwise you- I know you can't stand looking at me! Anyway... Whatever, I don't really care, I'm used to it. Wow, talk about an inferiority complex. I was way off about what a successful author would be like. Hi, I'm Sayaka Marzono. I look forward to getting to This girl! You. This girl's the only one I know. Sayaka Marzono. The way she moves is positively mesmerizing, and that pleasant scent I can't quite place. Sayaka Marzono. When I saw her name in that thread online, frankly, I was pretty surprised. She's in a pop group famous all across the country. In fact, she's their lead singer. As the ultimate pop sensation, she's in high demand to appear on TV and in magazines everywhere. But actually, that's not the only reason I was so surprised to find out she'd be going to the school. I'm sure she doesn't remember, but... Well, never mind. No matter how you slice it, she's really beautiful. It's like a doll or something. <laughs> I'm not a doll, you know. I'm alive. Huh? Did you hear me? I... I'm psychic. Huh? 
Huh? Kitty, I just have a really good intuition. She's a sharp one. Hey, um... Hey, by any chance... Now what? Huh? Yeah, it must be. I'm sure of it. Hey, Makoto, did... Just hold on. Jeez, you guys. How long do you plan to waste our valuable time with this ridiculous back and forth? Uh, um, sorry. Just got carried away, I guess. You hear me? Self-introductions are for introducing yourself, not bumbling through a bunch of idle chit-chat. Um, you're right. Sorry. Sorry, Makoto. We can talk about this later. It sounded like Sayaka really had something she wanted to say. But it's not like we'll never see each other again. Like she said, we can talk later. Uh... Leon. No, the name's Leon Kuwata. What's up? Zuh! You're the baseball- Oh my gosh, I want to shave off your goatee. I recognize that name. Oh, that's him? I guess he grew out his hair. He played for the National High School Champs as their cleanup hitter, the ultimate baseball star. And that superb athletic specimen is... You? Seriously? Huh? What's wrong? Nothing. I'm just surprised. I figured with you being the ultimate baseball star and all... What? Were you expecting some kid with a shaved head? Shaved head? No, I was just expecting more of a, you know, sporty looking traditional baseball player type. I mean, when I found that article and picture of you online, that's how you looked then. <laughs> what? Aw oh, man, you found that picture of me playing baseball? Seriously? I hate that picture. What the crap? This is not cool. This is so not cool. Seriously, I'm like mega embarrassed right now. I didn't have a choice, okay? Shaving your head like that is a part of national championship regulations. I mean, seriously? But now I refuse to cut my hair, and I'm not gonna dye it back to normal either. Hey, listen. Actually, can I be totally honest with you? You know, I don't like baseball, like at all. I've never gone to a single practice. He's never practiced, and he's still his team star player. He's some kind of prodigy. You don't say. Yeah. And as soon as I got accepted here, I quit baseball for good. I have my own dream for the future. A dream for the future? <laughs> my only path in life is getting into music. You can feel that star quality aura I have, right? You know what I mean. I'm gonna be a singer, so all I need is a songwriter and someone on guitar and we're set. How cool is that? This new version of me that's chasing after my dream is like, super cool to the max. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I never imagined I'd hear something like that from a baseball all-star. Hey, he might have other dreams. I am Hifumi Yamada. What if you want to Oh my gosh, Hifumi! Yo! And the Omega. I don't mind. Blue hair girl gives me um threes vibe, acting all cute and innocent. Was that three? Or was it four? Right? Cause four is the one who's like, <laughs> I'm a little virgin girl. And then like to her disciple, she was like really mean to him. Cause I think three was the purple haired one. It was just like, yep. Yeah, I'm three. Hello. Uh, yeah. Please remaster Dragon Guard. Three. By the way, how much do you know about the world of 2D art? World of 2D? <laughs> well, in that world, I am well known and supremely well regarded as the ultimate fanfic creator. Fanfic creator, 2D art. Okay, whatever. Mm -hmm. I once sold 10,000 copies of one of my fan comics at a school festival. The event has passed into legend. So, wait. You're not- what? Fan comics? Then you're just- you're a doujin artist. Okay. Some of them didn't get it. Get it, of course, saying I'd be tainted- I tainted the event. How stupid can you be? That's too bad about them, but selling 10,000 copies like that is definitely pretty remarkable. The words of such idiots mean nothing to me. I am like Van Gogh. Van Gogh. Utterly unappreciated in my time. I'm a soldier, serving night and day to destroy all mindless preconceptions about fanfiction. I'm sure if you were to observe my work, Mr. Nayagi, you would comprehend its greatness immediately. Mm -hmm. For my work is filled with deepest meaning. What? What kind of meaning? Yes, indeed. It's about embracing our basest urges. I don't think I want to comprehend it. <laughs> More people! Okay, now to talk to those five people over there. Let's just start from right to left. Name's Mondo Awada. Nice to fucking meet ya. Oh, cool. Biker gangs. Three to Zululu one. Yeah. I wish, I wish we learned more about two because she's so cute, but sadly. 
Mondo Owada, huh? Which mean? He's the current leader of the largest biker gang in Japan. He's earned respect, even awe, from every gang in the country. He's the ultimate biker gang leader. Um, nice to meet you too. Yo. Hell yeah. I better be careful around him. One wrong word and I could wake up at the bottom of the sea. Nice and sweet. Short, sure, thank you. Hi! I'm Junko Enoshima. Charmed, I'm sure. She has freckles! Cute! Anybody would recognize this one. She's got more charm and presence than any high school girl in the country. She's the ultimate fashionista. I've seen her on tons of magazine covers, but... I feel like that doesn't quite match up to reality. What? Huh? Come on. Oh, are you talking about my cover photos and junk? <laughs> <laughs> well, of course. Those are totally photoshopped. Photoshopped? Yeah, you know, edited to hell and back. With, like, computers and junk? Oh, so they aren't real. What can we do? Come on, don't act so surprised. You're gonna make me all depressed. Totally. It's totally normal these days to photoshop the crap out of cover photos. If you're surprised by that, you'd be totally blown away by a certain dangerous little diva of ours. <laughs> they make the eyes and junk super big and tweak the skin so it looks all ceramic and porcelain. Oh. So many dreams are getting crushed today. Hey, she still looks cute with her freckles. Um, can I ask you your name? My name is Kyoko Kirigiri. Kirigiri. Giddy giddy. Okay. Gee, shady. It's pretty tight-lipped, huh? Oh, but you know, her name didn't show up anywhere in that Hope's Peak Academy thread. And I did see that there were students like me, ones who didn't have any real identity or presence. Could this girl be one of them? Um, so, what are you doing at the school? What? What's that supposed to mean? No, I just meant getting invited here means you're some kind of ultimate something, right? So what ultimate something are you? That doesn't matter. Why should I tell you? Huh? Well, I guess you don't have to tell me. Ooh. No, I don't have to tell you, so I'm not going to. Nothing about her turned up online, so I was thinking maybe she got picked by chance like me, but... Her face is like an iron mask. If she doesn't want to tell me anything, no point in asking. Yeah, more grills! Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Chihiro Fujisaki. Ultimate programmer. Mm. Sorry, I get kind of embarrassed whenever I introduce myself like this. <laughs> anyway, I hope we can get along. Same here, nice to meet you. Huh? Huh? Maybe it's just my imagination, but... Have we met before? Um, I don't think so. We just met for the first time, which is why I said nice to meet you. Uh, oh, sorry. yeah. Good point. Sorry. You don't have to apologize for that. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Chihiro Fujisaki is known for all the cutting-edge programs she's created. She's the ultimate programmer. She's also got that timid little bunny type thing going on, which has endeared her to her legion of fans. Um... Hey, so, listen. Uh, I'm sorry. Sorry for what? What are you apologizing for now? Um... Well, just cause you seem upset. You must be mad at me, right? No, not at all. I just was- I was just lost in thought about something. Huh? Huh? Lost in thought? Yeah, it had nothing to do with me being upset or anything. Thank you. Oh, that's good. I was afraid maybe you didn't like me. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm starting to understand why her fans are so into her. Chot. Another hey, cutie. I'm Aoi Asahina, but my friends just call me Hina. Sup? Ultimate swimming pro! Okay. For a sec, I thought it had voice acting and I was like, Wow, Chihiro Shore sounds like Jake. <laughs> That's just me reading the lines. Aoi Asahina. She's been breaking records in every competition she's been in since elementary school. She's even been chosen at an upcoming Olympic... As an upcoming Olympic cadet. She is without a doubt the ultimate swimming pro. The combination of her ability, appearance, and um, proportions have been widely discussed online. So, uh, what was your name again? Sorry, totally forgot. Makoto Naegi. <laughs> oh yeah, I knew it was something like that. No, not something like that. It is that. You got it. Sure, sure, got it. Here, I'll hammer it into my brain right now. Yeah. Makoto Naegi. Makoto Naegi. She just kept repeating my name and moving her finger across her palm like she was writing something. What are you doing? Huh? You don't know. If you want to remember someone's name, you gotta write it on your hand three times. I've never heard of that before in my life. 
Hey, by the way, how do you spell your last name? You spell it exactly like it sounds. Mm. Mm. <laughs> well, I have no idea. <laughs> I'll just figure it out later and write it down. Okay. Anyway, glad to meet you. Sure, same here. Well, one thing I learned is she's totally easygoing and bursting with energy. Okay. So, so far, I like that swimmer girl. I like that programmer girl. Those who are over there are the only ones left. I am Sakura Ogami. Ultimate martial artist. Ooh. Oh, jeez. I almost asked her if she was a guy. She's wearing a girl's uniform, man. The day I turn say something like that out loud is the day I get turned into a human meatball. But now I remember, she competed in a martial arts tournament in America and won despite being a girl. Despite? Rude. She's the ultimate martial artist. She's fought in over 400 matches and never lost a single one. That thread also said a bit more about her. Some call her Ogre. Some even think she's the closest known relative to the primates, the famed Missing Link. They're so rude to her. Any incoming Hope's Peak students who are reading this, let me warn you right now. If you value your life, avoid her at all costs. Standing in front of her now, I don't think they were exaggerating about that. Hey. Hey, you. Huh? Yes? I snapped to attention without even realizing it. Then she started to poke and prod at my body. Um, what are you? I see. Muscular quality and quantity is right around that of an extremely ordinary high school student. Mm. Hm. What a shame. You're not at all fit to act as my training partner. I'm not sure that's a sh such a shame for me. Okay, I like her. She's cool. Oh, Yakuya Togami. Togami. Affluent progeny? That's not a talent. Hi, uh, nice to meet you. That's the most half uh, introduction I've ever heard. But there isn't really anything I can do about it. Even among the Ultima students, this one is special. Yakuya Togami. He's the heir apparent of his family's massive financial conglomerate. He's already started managing business operations and his own personal assets are, well, vast. His title of Ultimate Affluent Progeny is completely accurate. He's the definition of exceptional. That's everything I learned about him from that Hope's Peak Academy thread online. Come on. We're done with introductions, right? How much longer are we going to stand there? Go away. I'm sick of looking at you. I hope he dies. <gasps> His aura says to me, you and I will never stand on the same level, like a king in training. Also, that's not a talent. Okay. I'm Yasuhiro Hagakure. Hero for short. Ah easy, yes, yeah? high standard I guy. I, I hope he gets off quickly. Oh, I missed a talent! Ultimate Clairvoyant. Okay. Yasuhiro Hakakude, all known as the supernova in the psychic community, transcending Ultimate Clairvoyant. Honestly, I don't really get all that fortune telling stuff. It's pretty much beyond me. Still, I can't help wondering if there's any truth to it. Could it be? Ah, okay. I give up. Huh? What happened? You're serious. Saw it. I looked right at it. Seriously, I totally saw it. Saw what? Hmm. A guardian angel with a crazy perm chasing after Bigfoot, running off with a skyfish in its mouth. And that guardian angel is... You're a guardian angel! <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. But hey, we should grab some brewski sometime. <sighs> and get real deep into Lemuria and its civilization. What? We're not allowed to drink? We're in high school. You know? Oh, I'm actually 21. <sighs> I've been held back a few times. See, and, well, that's a long story. A few times? Yeah, I bet that is a long story. Last one! It's the last. I think we have been introduced. I am Celestia Ludenberg. Ludenberg. Oh, she's Deutsch. Ultimate gambler, okay. Celestia Luden. Huh? <laughs> Ludenberg. It's my name. But if you don't mind, I would prefer for you to call me Celeste. Um, you are Japanese, right? Huh? Of course. Why do you ask? You could be half. If you don't mind, could you tell me your real name? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Celestia Ludenberg is my real name. But as I mentioned, I would much rather you call me Celeste. She's polite, but pretty forceful at the same time. I don't think she wants to say any more about it. I guess the rumors in that thread were right about her. The self-styled Celestia Ludenberg, she's the ultimate gambler who's never lost a bet. 
Other than her obvious love of gothic Lolita clothes, everything about her is wrapped in a veil of lies. They say she entered and won an underground gambling tournament earning the title Queen of Liars. She totally cleaned out the other players, taking their life savings and laughing as she did it. <laughs> I look forward to getting to know you better. <laughs> that smile is beyond deceptive. I'd better watch myself around her. And with that, all the introductions are done. Hmm, even though they're all ultimate, they each have their own individual sort of... Mm, something. Hmm. Okay, time to get down to business. His, his voice is gonna be the hardest to do. Because it's a boy. I can't do boy voices. There's no time to stand around making friends like a bunch of dull-eyed baboons. Oh boy, please die. <laughs> oh, that's true. I think someone said something about a bigger problem or something. What was that about? Um, well, you see... Um, Makoto, you, ju you said a bunch of stuff happened and then you were just asleep, right? Well, the same is true for all of us. What? Seriously? I mean, seriously? Just after each of us got in the main hall, we lost consciousness. And when we came to, we were somewhere here in school. That's what happened to you, right? But that's just weird that every one of us would get knocked out like that. Piece of shit! Exactly! That's why we're all freaking out! And that is not the only thing. You saw where all the windows in the classes and hallways were, right? Nah. Uh, who? I'm assuming it's that last guy talking who's still talking now. But instead of normal glass windows, it was a bunch of big metal plates. What's that about? Are you for real? Plus, all my stuff's missing. Even my oh, even my cell phone. Um, yeah, you're right. I haven't seen my PDA anywhere either. And then there's the main hall here. The front exit is completely blocked by some giant metal hatch. What does this mean? But there wasn't anything like that when I first got here. What the heck? What the heck? What's it doing there? Hello. Maybe you got caught up in some kind of like you know crime or something. Is it? Like what like a kidnapping? You think maybe someone grabbed us and hauled us off and we're not actually at school? Hey, come come on. on, don't think like that. Cheer up. I bet this is all part of the school's orientation procedure. You know? Yeah, I'm sure that's it. So I'm just gonna take it easy for a little bit. I see. Oh, so you think they wanted us to do something to surprise us? What the hell? What, huh? Well, if that's all it is, it's nap time for me. You know what I mean. I was up way too late last night, so I could use a little shut-eye. I could feel everyone's tension evaporating. But then, it began. Testing, testing, mic check, one, two, this is a test of the school broadcast system. Am I on? Can everyone hear me? Okay, well then. The voice seemed totally out of place. It was so playful, so completely unconcern unconcerned. I couldn't help but feel a deep, unnerving dread at the sound of it. It was like hearing someone laugh at the scene of an accident. Uh, to all incoming students, I would like to begin the entrance ceremony at... Right now! All right Please now! Please make your way to the gymnasium at your earliest convenience. That's all. I'll be waiting. Huh? What the hell was that just now? Goodbye. Well then, if you'll excuse me. Hey! Hey! What are you- you're gonna take off just like that? Could it be- Oh yeah, now I get it. This whole thing was just to get us all pumped for the entrance ceremony. <laughs> Man, thank god it was all a joke. I'd be totally freaked if this was real. You know? Alright, guess I'll head out too. Wonder what they got planned for us next. Huh. Uh... Damn, I was totally looking forward to that nap too. Why'd they all have to go and kill the moon? Huh? That's not Teddy VA from Persona 4, is it? Oh shoot, is it? It does sound kind of similar. Wait for me! I want to go with you! <laughs> that is that then. I will see you all there. Anyway... Not that anyone cares, but I'm gonna go too. Everyone took off for the gym, but I was frozen where I stood. That uneasy feeling I'd had before, I couldn't get it out of my mind. And it looked like I wasn't the only one. Uh, um, this... this doesn't seem right. This is bad. Yeah, that announcement was totally weird. However... Maybe, but just staying put doesn't mean we'll be safe. Besides, aren't you guys just a little bit curious to find out what's going on around here? I see. If we do not move forward, we learn nothing. The only choice is to push ahead. I guess she's right. But still, I'm kinda... No, really nervous. We don't have a choice, we have to go. They said to go to the gym, right? Abrupt checkpoint. I hope I saved. Um, okay, so... 
Um, media area. Yeah. Everyone's just gonna be like, what? Go to the gym? This feels weird. Also, it's just a prologue, so I doubt anything's gonna happen. I just wish I knew how to get to the menu so I could change the settings to make the sound effects a little higher. Hey, come on! I had no idea this Hope's Peak Academy was gonna be such a pain in my balls. Woo! <laughs> ah! It really ain't that much different from the time I spent in Juvie. Hell, this place is even worse. Uh, um, and why isn't there anyone here? Walking through the halls, I didn't see a single person. This is bad. Isn't that like seriously not good? Yeah. They're, they're just trying to spook us. They'll take those metal plates down later, I'm sure of it. Hmm. All we can do now is hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Oh, shit. oh hell, it ain't like I'm scared or nothing. Let's just get this over with. Hey, damn it. Hey, where's whoever called us here? What are you thinking? Mondo, stop! No running! Well then. I too shall go. <laughs> hey, wait! Don't leave me here all alone! Okay, time for some more tutorial action. You can press the triangle button to observe the murin. Observing will display what people- blah, blah, Sorry, I saw that earlier. So, I can interact with the door of this thing. The display case. There are all kinds of trophies and plaques inside. Of course, all the students who go here are ultimate, right? So this is probably just a tiny fraction of all their awards. I'll talk with this girl. Um, where are all the other students? Why are we the only ones here? I'll talk to the door. Oh, I didn't want to leave. Still filled with uneasy dread, I did what the announcer said and went to the gym. No, I want to talk to- oops, I thought I would talk to more people. Jelly BA is on fire? Oh, why, thank you. I'm trying. <laughs> trying to make this interesting. And I saw what was waiting for us there. Oh, it really does look like an entrance ceremony. Yo. See? Told ya. It's totally normal entrance ceremony stuff. You know was right. But in a way, that just emphasized how completely not normal all of us were. Hey there, howdy, hello! Is everyone here? Good! Then let's get things rolling! No, but seriously, where's all the other students? There! With a belly button. Huh? Uh... Teddy bear? I'm not a teddy bear. I am Monokuma! One bear. And I am this school's headmaster. It was the strangest thing I'd ever seen. Right before my eyes, it was... What I was seeing was... It was utterly incomprehensible. Nice to meet you all. Such a bright voice and carefree attitude was completely out of place. And all that anxiety I'd been carrying with me suddenly transformed into outright fear. Say what? Oh, what? That teddy bear can talk! <laughs> Calm down. I'm sure there's just a speaker inside it. Hey, come on now. I told you already, I'm not a teddy bear. Teddy. I'm Monokuma, and I'm your headmaster. Say what? Wah! It moved! <laughs> Seriously, man, calm down. It's probably just a remote control toy or something. How dare you compare me to a child's plaything? You've cut me deep. Deeper than the Mariana Trench. <laughs> My remote control system is so complex, even the folks at NASA who can't recreate or even comprehend it. Ah, oh, but don't make me say stuff that might just destroy NASA's dreams. I couldn't just bear that. Oh, no. It's another teddy. Bear that. Really. You are unfortunate. Now then, moving on, we really must hurry and get started. Giving up already? No other stupid bear puns? Now then. Quiet down now, quiet down. Ah, okay, so. Hmm. Yes, and bad in the gag. <laughs> good morning! Everyone, stand at attention and bow. And good morning! You hear me? Good morning! <laughs> What's your problem? You don't have to say it back. Now then. Let us commence with the most noteworthy and memorable entrance ceremony. First, let's talk a bit about what your school life here will be like. Now, uh, make no mistake, you few students so full of potential represent the hope of the world. And to protect such splendid hope, you will all live a communal life together solely within the confines of the school. Everyone will live in harmony together and adhere to the rules and regulations of the school. Huh? 
Ah, now then, regarding the end date for this communal life... There isn't one! In other words, you'll all be here until the day you die! Such is the school life you've been assigned! What did he just say? Until the day we die? Yep. Oh, but fear not! We have quite an abundant budget, so you won't lack for all common conveniences! That's the least of our worries right now! Hmm. Yeah, what the hell? You're saying I have to live here forever? You're screwing with us, right? I'm not Ooh. screwing with you! I'm no liar! Of that you can be 100% sure! Uh -huh. Ah, and just for your information, you're completely cut off from the outside world! Then you don't have to worry about that dirty, dirty land beyond these walls ever again! Cut off? So all those metal plates all over the school... They're there to keep us trapped in here? That's exactly what they're there for! No matter how much you may mail, yell, and scream for help, help will not come. So with all that in mind, feel free to live out your life here with reckless abandon! Hey, come on! Come on, what the hell is this? I don't care if the school or whatever else is behind it all, this is just a really bad joke. Damn you! <laughs> yeah, cut this out! It isn't funny anymore! You keep saying this is a lie or a joke. A bunch of skeptics, all of you! What are you gonna do? But I guess you can't help it, huh? You all grew up in an age where you're taught to doubt your neighbor. Well, you'll have plenty of time to find out whether or not I say is true. And when that time comes, you'll see with your own eyeballs that I speak the undeniable truth. Most unfortunate. Having to live here forever would be quite the problem. What's this? Come now, what's the matter with all of you? You decided of your own free will to attend Hope's Peak Academy, didn't you? And now, before the entrance ceremony is even finished, you've already decided you want to leave? Hey! Oh, um... but you know... I guess I did forget to mention one thing. There is one way for you to leave the school. Uh, really? Actually... Yes, Headmaster. I've crafted a special clause for those of you who'd like to leave. I call it the Graduation Clause. Now, then. now, let me tell you about this fun little rule. As I mentioned, in order to maintain an environment of harmony here, we rely on a communal lifestyle. And if someone were to disrupt that harmony, they and they alone would be allowed to leave the school. Okay. That, my students, is the Graduation Clause. What? What do you mean by disrupt the harmony? <laughs> well, you know... The music stops. If one person were to murder another... Murder? Yes, indeed. Stabbing, strangling, bludgeoning, crushing, hacking, drowning, igniting, how you do it doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to leave. Ah, uh, they left that in, they didn't, um, proofread. It's as simple as that. <laughs> the rest is up to you. Give it your all to achieve the best outcome in the worst way possible. A chill shot down my spine. You must kill someone if you want to leave. As soon as I heard those words, my blood went cold. <laughs> I bet that got your brain juices slowing. Beats the heck out of a human catching a salmon, huh? Like I said before, you guys are the hope of the world. But you know... Taking that hope and seeing it get murdered creates a darkened shadow of despair. Extreme. And I just find that so darn exciting! What the hell? What the hell are you talking about? To kill each other is... it's... Huh? To kill each other is to kill each other. I'm sure there's a dictionary here somewhere if you need it. We know what it means, that's not the problem! Why do we have to kill each other? Yeah! Stop blabbering on about that nonsense! Wow, he sounds too much like Monokuma. I'm gonna have to change his voice or something. Just let us go home already! Blabbering? 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 What do you mean blabbering? Stop blabbering on about blabbering on! You guys just don't get it, do you? Let us go, let us go! You keep on saying the same thing over and over and over and over. Listen, from this moment on, this school is your home, your life, your world. Got it? And you can kill as much as you want to kill. So go ahead, go on a kill, kill, killing spree. Ugh. All right, come on. How long you gotta keep this up? Hmm? Eh? You know? You got us, okay? You scared the hell out of us. So you can go ahead and reveal the trick now. Huh? Reveal the trick? I'm right. Yeah, because right? I mean, you know, this is all some kind of trick at all, right? So, uh, like. Dude, shut the hell up and get out of my way! Shoving Hito aside, Mondo placed himself in front of Monokuma, his voice rumbling like thunder. You're fucking dead. Listen up, a hole. Just go. Ah, he curses too much. I don't do it. Ah! Gone way too far. What the hell kind of joke is this? What's the matter? Joke? What? You mean like your hair? <laughs> you son of a bitch. Yep. 
Mondo roared out, and then there was a sudden boom. It was the sound of the floorboards as he kicked off and launched himself into the air. He flew at Monokuma, fast and straight as a bullet. He locked onto his target. Gotcha, you little piece of shit! I don't know if you're a toy or a stuffed animal or whatever the hell. Either way, I'm gonna rip you to fucking shreds! What? The violence against the headmaster is in violation of school regulations! Shut the fuck up! Let me out of here, I swear to Christ! Hey, uh oh He's gonna blow up. No, no smart comeback this time. Piece of shit! Stop that beeping! Oh, sorry, excuse me, I burped. And and say something. Watch out! Get rid of it. Huh? Hurry up and throw it. I don't know if her ferocity stunned him into silence or what, but without a word, he did what he was told. He threw Monokuma, and as soon as he did, yep, he blew up. The hell? What the? That sure wasn't a joke. It blew the hell up. There was a painful ringing in my ears, and I could smell gunpowder. Explosions might happen all the time in movies or whatever, but when it's in real life, I've never seen anything like it. But, but you know, this means that the teddy bear's been destroyed, right? Hey! I told you, I'm not a teddy bear. I'm Monokuma! Huh? But, there's another one! D damn you, you son of a bee! <laughs> you seriously tried to kill me just now! Of course! Well, yes, I was serious about trying to kill you. You did violate one of the school regulations, after all. I'll let you off with a warning this time, but you better be careful from now on. Any naughty boy or girl who violates my rules won't get off with just a little swat on the butt. This is bad. Hey, so does this mean there's like a bunch more of you around somewhere? Yeah. Monokumas have been placed all throughout the school, yes. Plus, don't forget the surveillance cameras installed everywhere. And if you're caught breaking any rules, well, you all just saw what happened, right? <laughs> and I won't be so forgiving with my punishment next time, so don't let it happen again. That's not even punishment. That's just wrong. Well... Now then, lastly, to commemorate your joyous entry into our school, I have a little something for you. This is our official student handbook. Pretty cool, huh? As you can see, it's fully digital, so naturally we call it the e-handbook. Hmm. <clears throat> yes, well, moving on. This handbook is absolutely vital to a healthy school life, so don't lose it. When you start it up, it will display your name. Always make sure you have the right one. Now, this is not your everyday notebook. It has so many more uses than that. Also, it's completely waterproof. Splash it, wash it, drown it, it'll keep on ticking. And thanks to its space-age design, it can withstand an impact, of impact force of up to 10 tons. Very resistant. It contains all of our school regulations, so make sure you review them thoroughly. You guys. You'll hear me say this a lot, but any violation of school regulations will not be tolerated. Ching. Rules restrict, yes, but they also protect. Society, for example, would be in utter chaos without laws. Yes, indeed. The same thing applies here, which is why it's crucial we have strict punishments in place for violators. Okay, well, that brings our entrance ceremony to a close. Please enjoy your abundantly dreary school life, and see ya! And with that, he was gone, leaving us all in a state of shock. My throat hurts from his voice. Wow. <laughs> Is this Dragon Guard now? Feels like it. So, guys, how would you define what we just experienced? How? Why? I don't understand any of this. We have to live here forever? Or kill? What? What just happened? Calm down. Everyone, we need to just calm down. First, let's just take a second to summarize everything we just heard. No, we, we don't have to. We gotta kill or, or be killed. Based on what Monokuma said, we essentially have two choices. Choice number one is, what, is that we each stay here living a communal life together until the day we die. And the other choice is... Indeed. If we want to get out of here alive, we have to kill someone, right? That's... But killing someone, that's... <laughs> We were abducted out of nowhere and stuffed into this pl place meant to look like a school. And now we're supposed to start killing each other? This is... This is... This is just... What is this? Ridiculous. A lie is what it is. All these ridiculous things we've heard. This all has to be fake. Hmm. Right now, it doesn't ma really matter what's real or fake. What matters is... So in other words... Is there anyone here who's seriously considering all this? To that, nobody had a response. Keeping quiet myself, I looked around at the others. 
They all stared at one another, trying to gauge each other's thoughts. I could almost taste the hostility. And that's when it hit me. I realized the true terror hidden within the rules Monokuma had laid out. You must kill someone if you want to leave. Those words had planted vicious thoughts deep within each of us. Each of us had become sp suspicious of everyone else. We were forced to wonder, is somebody going to betray us? Okay, maybe it was a good thing they recapped because I thought it was like you had to kill someone. But you could choose to live peacefully, which I don't think will happen. That was how my new school life began. This school, which had come out of nowhere to raise my hopes so high, it's not a school of hope. It's a school of despair. Dun dun dun. And the game begins. The prologue is done. The end. Surviving students, 15. How many students are going to be left in the end? Like three? To be continued. Whoa! Intro now? Whoa! I didn't realize this was also Spike Chunsoft. Man, they like ma making weird games. That's a me. Leon, Sayaka, Chihiro, Kiyotaka, Kyoto, Celestia. Is someone hanging? Okay, so that girl's important. <laughs> Hanakuma. Yakuya, Toko. Hondo, Ifumi. Yeah, he's not a fanfic writer. He draws. Aoi, I have missed her name. Yasuhiro, Junko. I feel like I need to print out a paper with all of their names. No, wait, but whenever they talk, they're gonna have their names, so I'll see it. Dance party. Okay, well that girl that her portrait was like kind of going one way while Makoto's was going another. She's important. I don't think she's gonna die. Her school, the school crest present. I want to save the data. I didn't do anything, so I'll just save over that one. You must kill someone if you want to leave. My mind froze and my breath caught in my throat as I thought about that. I could feel a paralyzing fear slowly making its way through my body, dominating every last nerve. The air hung heavy on me, pressing down like a weight around my neck. It took everything I had just to endure that weight. To survive. But as for that heavy, for as heavy as the air felt, all it took to pierce it was her sharp words. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, which one was this? So what are you going to do now? Hey. Oh, her. Just stand around glaring at each other? Her pointed comment was directed at everyone in the room. It helped pull us all back to reality. <clears throat> Snap back to reality. Oop, there goes gravity. Right. She's right. Listen to me. Sometimes, even if you're nervous or afraid, you just have to step forward. <clears throat> to forget such a simple fact. I can't forgive myself. I'm so ashamed. You hear me? Please, someone hit me. I can't forgive myself. Somebody hit me! Punish me! Oh no. Huh? If, you ha if you have time to yell about it, you have time to do something about it. However... Perhaps. But what is the mission exactly? Stupid. Idiot. To look for a way out. Duh. What the... We totally need to find whoever was controlling that stupid bear and beat the hell out of them. But... But before we do all that, maybe we should take a look at the handbook. It's probably best to check out the school regulations Monokuma mentioned before doing anything else. This is fine. True. If we stumble around with no clue what the rules are, something like that might happen again. Bleh. Alright. So fine. then... Then let's hurry up and check out the stupid rules already. Makoto na Egi. After turning on my e-handbook, the first thing that appeared was my name. So just like Monokuma said, the owner's name showed up front and center. Then from the main menu that popped up, I selected the school regulations icon. An itemized list appeared on screen. It was the school regulations. In other words, the rules being imposed on us all. Students may reside only within the school. Leaving campus is an unacceptable use of time. 
I hope you can't hear that motorcycle that just passed by. Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise caution. Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. Okay, so you have to be in your room at night. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope's Peak Academy at your discretion. Uh, violence against Headmaster Monokuma is strictly prohibited, as is destruction of surveillance cameras. Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate unless they are discovered. Additional school regulations may be added as necessary. Feeling a slight dizziness, I raised my face up from the screen. As I looked around, I saw the same stormy expression on everyone's faces. Stop fucking around. This is BS. What the hell kind of rules are these? I'm not gonna let them control me. <laughs> well then, why don't you wander around the school without a care in the world and see what happens? Personally, I would love to see what happens when someone breaks one of the rules. However... But if he got punished like what we saw before, I don't think we'd, there'd be a respawn waiting for him. Yo. I... Ever since I was a kid, I grew up with my older brother pounding this into my head. When a man makes a promise, he has to keep it, even if it kills him. And... So what? What? I've made a ton of promises that I still have to keep, so that- that's so what? Piece of shit! So I can't afford to die in here! <sighs> None of that made much sense to me, but if you're saying you will follow the regulations, is that it? That's true. Uh, oh, well, yeah, I guess you're right. Um, hey, um, I have a question. For regulation number six, what do you think it means exactly? Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate unless they are discovered. You're talking about the second half, right? Where it says unless they are discovered? I was wondering about that myself. Hmm. It's saying that if you want to graduate, you have to kill someone without anyone finding out it was you. But, but why? Why do we have to do that? I don't see any reason to worry about it. Just worry about following the rules as they've been explained to us. Such Frankly, I don't want to hear anything from someone who waits for others to decide what to do for them. Don't jab at me. Oh, she liked that. Oh, boy. More like full-on stab. Well, for now, let's forget all that silly junk about murderers or whatever. Okay. Now that we know the rules, let's start exploring the school. True. We need to find out exactly where we are. Is there any way out? What about food and supplies? You understand? There are tons of questions we need to answer. Let's do it! Damn straight. Okay, then let's all start looking around. Hm. I'll be going alone. What? What? Why? That's a pretty stupid idea, don't you think? <laughs> Someone here might already have started thinking about murdering one of us. Are you saying we should stand around with them in our midst and make it that much easier for them? But if you split apart... You should go in groups of three! So that there's someone to corroborate if someone tries to kill you. If you go alone, anyone could attack you. Okay, whatever. Uh, hold on a second. Wait, hold on a second. That one never... What? Don't bother saying it couldn't happen. You can't deny the possibility. That's why you all seized up with fear when you when that graduation rule was made clear to you. <laughs> Am I wrong? Uh, um, but... <laughs> so, I'm simply acting in accordance with what I think is best for me. Just hold, hold on. Hold on. Like how I'm gonna let you run off and do whatever you want. What? Out of my way, Plankton. What? What? That's that supposed to mean? Such ignorance. One tiny bit of Plankton, drifting across the sea. So minuscule, so insignificant, it couldn't possibly have any kind of influence on the boundless ocean. You're fucking dead. I'm gonna kick your. <laughs> Stop it! We shouldn't fight. What? If you just say you're some kind of goody goody little. <laughs> you wanna throw down? Who do you think you are talking to me like that? You think you're my dad or something? No, I wasn't. You son of a bitch. F you! <laughs> I don't cuss. I'm sorry. Wham! He punched me. And I flew back in a heap. It was like something straight out of a comic book. I didn't even see the punch coming. It was just suddenly right there in my face. One second I was standing there, the next I was soaring through the air. Now that I think about it, maybe I'd kind of forgotten the kind of people I'd been trapped here with. My common sense had just stopped functioning. Being around all these ultimates had blown my fuses. I guess I shouldn't be surprised it led to something as absurd as this. But I just lost track of that sense of reality. That was my last thought as my consciousness started to fade. Before it finally cut out completely. And when I finally opened my eyes again, what I saw was... Mm, uh, huh? Where am I? As if it had become part of my daily routine, I woke up in yet another room I'd never seen before. Okay, so, where am I now? You now have access to the handbook menu. You can use this to check a variety of information as you play. Open the handbook menu. Bah, 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 school regulations report cards. Uh, map and truth bullets. 
You can also save and load the game on our system. Touchpad button to review the transcript. This records. Uh, system. Okay, so we have options. Sound effects. I have to raise it a little bit. Background music. I'm gonna lower a little bit. Um, because the voices were kind of low for that. Movement, Bob. I said no, but uh, this still does that. Okay, transcript. Nope. Save just in case. What? What'd I say? Oh, me not cousin. Okay, so I can explore. Okay, well, first of all, there's a key. This must be the key to the room. My name's written on the keychain, which means it must be mine, right? I better hang on to it for now. Okay, now I can hear some sound effects. Good. Some kind of monitor. Ugh. There's some kind of metal plate mounted here. Valence camera. Get the idea that someone might be watching me right now. We're not allowed to mess with the camera, so I better make sure I don't touch it. No, I didn't want that! Uh, it's not- it's a notepad. I guess the school must have given one to each of us. Lint roller. Guess we're supposed to clean up after ourselves? Um... Piece of paper hanging up on the wall which says, Announcements from the Headmaster Monokuma. Each room's lock has been designed to completely protect against tampering or lock picking. Remaking an individual room key is quite troublesome, so please make sure not to lose yours. Your room comes furnished with a shower, but please note that the water is turned off at nighttime. Also, the bathrooms and the girls' rooms include a lock of their own. Finally, we've prepared a small gift for each of you. For the girls, a sewing kit, and for the boys, a tool kit. The sewing kit includes a map of the body's vital organs. One stab will do the job, girls. For the boys, we believe a strong blow to the head with any of the tools should be ample. Don't think, just feel, and let's all enjoy ourselves. I crumpled a sheet of paper and threw it in the trash. I threw it on the ground. I have to explore the trash can. The character gonna give you a good time. <sighs> oh boy, that he's gonna be tough. Light and sexist. Yeah, it is. Give the girls heavy tools too. Just an everyday trash can. I don't see any kind of trapdoor or hidden compartments or anything. And all that's in the trash is the paper I watered up and threw away. Oh! A coin. What else can I... Okay, I did that. Uh... Oh, my bed. Haha. <laughs> There doesn't seem to be anything particularly strange about the bed. It looks like cardboard. Looks like the door leads outside. It's locked. Some of the rooms have locks, huh? Oh, so then is this the... This would appear to be the bathroom. Rattle, rattle. Huh? It's not opening. I guess it's locked. Why would it be locked? The boys' rooms doesn't have locked bathroom. Monitor... I think I explored everything. Wait... Drawers? It looks like there's something in the drawer. Cool kit. Must be brand new. It's still in the shrink wrap. I don't really need it now, so I'll just leave it here. No, use it to open the door! <laughs> I think I'm starting to understand. This room must be... Sleeping anywhere other than at a dormitory. Blah blah blah. This is my assigned dorm room. Someone must have carried me here after I fell unconscious. So that answers that question. The next question is... What's everyone else up to right now? There's only one way to find out, and that's to get out of here. Now I can leave, probably. How long have I been streaming for? Uh, this section was only an hour so far? Okay. Let me play a little bit more. I rushed out of the room to meet up with all the others, but there was something- there was someone waiting for me there. It was like something out of an old TV show. Wham! Ah! Ah! <gasps> Close! Almost panty shot. Oh, Sayaka? Sorry. Are you okay? Uh, I'm fine. I hope you're okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. She had an embarrassed smile on her face. I stood up slowly. Are you okay, Sayaka? Are you hurt? <laughs> Make it sound worse than it is. I'm completely fine. I know how I look, but I've actually built some pretty good muscle jumping up and down on stage. That's good, then. Um, but... Are you okay? You know, from when Mondo hit you? That's true. I got knocked out right there in front of everyone. I guess I revealed my lack of cool from right from the beginning. Makoto. Makoto? Oh, uh, I'm fine. Nothing wrong here. That's good. That's good. I was kind of worried. Thanks. By the way, what are you doing here? Uh, um... Actually, I came to get you. You came to get me? Um, 
Well, if you really are feeling better, I was hoping you could come to the dining hall. The dining hall? You see. After you got knocked out, everyone decided to go and do their own thing. We decided it would be more effective if we slid up to investigate. So we agreed to get together later on and talk about what we'd each found out. But does that mean it's almost time to get back together? If that's what's going on, then of course I'll go with you. That's good. Good. I'll go on ahead and meet you at the dining hall. Oh, why? I thought we were going together. Um, let's see. Trash, bathrooms, everyone's rooms. <gasps> My room is right across Romando, and he punched me out. Great. Um, dining room. I'm assuming that is here. Oh, that's the bath. Uh, oh, down. Haha, <laughs> I can read maps. Oh. Windows! This must be the dormitory dining hall. Um, it looks pretty clean, so that's good. Uh, I guess that's not really important right now, with us being prisoners here and all. Yeah, that's true. Nobody was there waiting for us. We don't really have much choice. I guess we should just wait here for now. <laughs> okay, let's just wait here. Huh? You heard that? Like I said, I'm psychic. <laughs> Come on, I'm just kidding. Seriously, I just have amazing intuition. Is it really just intuition? It's kind of sudden, I know, but here comes a tutorial. Right now, I'd like to talk about reactions. You're gonna be talking to Sayaka, right? Well, while you're talking to her, some purple words are going to appear. Here's how they work. When purple words show up, if you press triangle button, you're going to reaction mode. At this point, you can use directional buttons to make a selection of X to confirm it. Also, when it comes to that dialogue, you can review whatever you talked about to look for more. If you're talking to someone about things like this, it's called reaction. You can do your best to enjoy your ever-important school life. Okay. Hey, um. By the way, Makoto. Huh? Was it? What um, is it? Well, it's just. I know this is kind of continuing the self-introduction thing, but I want to ask you something. Uh, this one. What did you want to ask me? Hmm. Makoto, did you happen to go to Blackfruit Junior High? Were you maybe in class two? Yeah, actually, I was. Ah, I knew it. I went there too. I was in class four though. Do you remember me? Do I remember? Even back in middle school, she was a celebrity with all kinds of ultimates surrounding her. How could I forget? Almost as surprising as her question was, that she remembered me. We never even talked to each other, but somehow she still knew who I was. Hey, um... Are you okay? Oh, yeah. I'm just surprised, is all. I wouldn't have thought you'd remember me. <laughs> we went to the same school for three years. Of course I remember. Well, that's true. But there were lots of students in our grade, right? Plus, I'd never been the type of person to ever really stand out. I'm average at everything, and all of my hobbies are totally normal. Even normal would call me boring. Aww. What are you talking about? You're so strange. Strange? That's... <laughs> she started giggling even louder. Something's fishy about her. That somehow mysterious smile of hers made my heart grow calmer. Her smile was the nicest smile I've ever seen. That's good. Anyway, I'm really glad that I know somebody here. <sighs> talking to you has made me feel a lot better about all this. You're amazing, Makoto. No, I'm really not. I'm nothing at all compared to all you ultimates. But you're- Okay. If you insist, I will let you play a little more. Okay, if a girl is laughing like that, like, all the time, she's- she's suspicious. She wants something from you. She's- I don't trust her. But- You're the one to help me find my courage again, not any of those ultimate students. Thank you for saying that. Okay. And thank you for helping me out. I'm going to become your ultimate assistant. My assistant? <laughs> yep, I'm your assistant now. I'm going to help you out as much as I can, so let's get out of here together. When she says things like that, it... It gets me pumped up. Which is nice, but still. Everyone else is still late. Besides that, I don't even know what time it is right now. There must be a clock around here somewhere. Like here? Um, so what time is it right now? What? 7 o'clock? At night? Uh, um... You were unconscious for a pretty long time. I see. Without being able to look out a window, I've lost all sense of time. If I have to stay in this place for too long, I might just go crazy. Hey, um... I can't believe no one's here yet, but I'm sure they'll start showing up soon. Almost like he timed it, Taka threw open the dining hall, hall doors right as Sayaka said that. Hey! Ah, Makoto! Sayaka! So you two got here first, huh? How too bad. I was sure I'd beaten everyone here. I guess that just means I don't have enough fighting spirit yet. Well, I won't give up. Next time, I swear I'll win no matter what it takes. Justice shall always prevail. <laughs> That's a bit much, don't you think? And soon after that, 
Everyone else came strolling in one after another. After a few minutes, everyone had gathered in a dining hall. Okay, it looks like everyone's here. Time to start the meeting! Thank you for voicing this. Let's all go around and share what we found out during our respective investigations. The sooner we find out what's going on, the sooner we get out of here. His hair is insane! Oh my gosh. Hold on a sec. What are you talking about? Hmm. What about, uh, what's her name? You know, the silver-haired girl. Ah. Uh, oh yeah, Kyoko. Hmm. What about her? Aww. She's not here. <clears throat> what? I took another look around the dining hall. Sure enough, she was nowhere to be seen. Um, I wonder where she went. Has anyone seen her? But everyone just shook their heads. Huh? Wait, so nobody's seen her? Why hasn't Kyoko shown up yet? Could it be because... Stop yes, with the white lights. Indeed. Three hour stream. Four, five. No, not that long. My throat is gonna die. Blah, 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 blah. You must kill someone. Blah, blah. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Is it possible? Was she really? No, no. I'm just overthinking things. <laughs> Darn it, Kyoko. You're really going to be late like this on the first day of school? Not only is she late, she didn't tell anyone she would be late. A most unbecoming personality trait. Come on. You're just being a real brr right now, you know that? <laughs> Well, what do you want me to do? Punctuality is everything! You hear me? Now then, I declare that the first session of the Hope's Peak Academy briefing meetings has begun! Um... Makoto, actually, first of all, I've talked enough. Maybe we should listen to what everyone else has to say. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> you know... Huh? What's up? <laughs> I feel like I really have become your personal assistant, don't you agree? <laughs> I may not be the best assistant in the world, but I'll give it everything I've got. No, you've already done so much as my assistant. 10k for hydrate as a scam. I don't have water with me. <laughs> I didn't bring up water today just in case I got dizzy again while I was playing Grand Blue, but next time I will. So I cannot hydrate right now, but next time I will. <laughs> okay, so we want to listen to everyone else. Who has a voice that doesn't tire me out? Okay, not a lot of people. Monitor. TV right now is just showing the school crest, even so it makes me feel uneasy. Ugh. Uh... Surveillance camera, I hate the idea that someone might be watching me right now. I have to keep in mind it's against the school regulations to mess with any of the cameras. As much as it gets on my nerves, I better leave it alone. Ah! Fine! So that's why I examine everything. Her? I don't think I should leave right now. The atmosphere is unpleasant. Who do I talk to? Oh, just Sayaka? So since you're in the dark about all this, let me lay out what's been going on. Everyone split up to investigate different parts of the building, but... Do you see? Yakuya and Taka each went off on their own, so did Kyoko. Do I have to do the reaction thing? I'll do Taka. Mm. Mm. I spent some time looking around the dormitory and... There I made the discovery of the sentry! I found that there is exactly one room for each person! Uh, well, yeah, I figured that out before anything else. Yeah. Each door already had a nameplate on it, so I guess all the rooms have been assigned already. And each room key has was attached to a keychain with the owner's name persistent etched onto it. Which confirms that the room I was er in earlier is, in fact, my room. And plus... And Shihiro and I found out that all the rooms are totally soundproof. Um... Your next door neighbor could scream their lungs out and you wouldn't hear a thing. <laughs> well, each room also had a private bathroom, which could also lock. Hmm. But it looked like there were only locks on the bathrooms in the girls' dorms. Huh? But when I checked my bathroom door before, it definitely seemed like it was locked. That's weird. I should double check that later. Hey, come on. Okay, so they got a bunch of rooms ready for us. They're assuming we're gonna be here a while. Quiet down and listen. Well, better to have than to have not. At least we don't have to worry about surviving like wild animals. <sighs> that can't be all you have to report, can it, Mr. Honor Student? Got it. That's all for my report. Let's move on to whoever's next. So then I have to do the Byakuya. Yakuya. I wanted to try and find some clue as to who's responsible for imprisoning us here. But unfortunately, I made no such discoveries. That's all from me. Mm. Really? That's it? Hm. If I'd uncovered anything, naturally I would have had more to say. But I didn't, so I don't. Uh, uh... Right, understood. Okay, so... Uh, bar, 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 and Taka. Looks like Leon, Hiro, Junko, and Chihiro all grouped together. Mm. We all went all... We went all up and down to school, double-checking the windows in all hallways and classes. 
We wanted to see if we could get any of those metal plates to come off, and what happened was... Hmm. Nothing. Not a damn thing. We couldn't get a single one to budge even a little bit. What should I do? There wasn't any hope of escape anywhere. The school really has been totally cut off. This is bad. This sucks. Bad, 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 it really bad, bad. sucks. It sucks, 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 sucks! What the hell are we gonna do? Hey, come on. Calm down. You're starting to make me nervous. Can't you just skip to the part of the conversation that I haven't seen yet? We thought maybe we could find some way to communicate with the outside, so we went looking all over. Sorry. But we didn't find a thing. Sorry. Yo. I went back to the main hall, thinking maybe we could do something about that giant hunk of metal. Why? But even with Sakura and me Why? both, it wouldn't budge. We hit it with desks and chairs and nothing. It was hard as, like, metal. Yes, indeed. Well, yes, it is metal. Anyway, if we're gonna get out of here, it's not gonna be through there. I feel like I could just cry, but no, I have to hold it in. I have to manage my hydration. So then. I shall tell you what happened next. Uh, what the segment you go? What what sucks? Hello, hello. Hi, Shelving. Thanks for joining. It sucks that we can't get out of here, I if I remember correctly. It became a real scam, my story again. <laughs> It has nothing to do with communicating with the outside world, but it's still worth worrying about. In both the school and dorm areas, there was a set of stairs leading up to another floor. But... But there were gates there, and we couldn't find any way to open them, so we couldn't check it out. Hmm. In other words, at this point we are only able to search the first floor. However... We can further assume that there is potentially something above the second floor as well. And if that's the case, there is at least a chance it may lead to a way out. I was gonna make the username be shelving unit. Ha 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 ha. Okay, so let's Toko and Hifu. Let's see. How goes it? Going good. Um, I'm excited to play Danganronpa. I know nothing about it, so it's all gonna be a surprise. I know I'm really late playing this, but at first I was scared of playing it because I thought it would be more gruesome and gross, but my cousin was like, no, it's not that bad. If you could play AI Somnium Files, you can play Danganronpa, so... Finally playing it. Hope you're doing well. If I am being honest, I can't quite say we acted as one. Rather, we did nothing as one. We spent the entire time in the gym. Most unfortunate. Honestly, we are not exactly the types to go running around a school like a gaggle of young- of junior detectives. What the hell's wrong with you? What the hell are you thinking, just sitting around a gym the whole time? <laughs> Well, it's not like any of you invited me along. Nobody said, hey, come with us. I blame you for leaving me out. It's your fault. Papa. You wanted to go with someone, you should have just said something. <laughs> Forget it. Like, I'd want to go anywhere with a dirty slut like you. Oh, okay. Huh? Slut? <laughs> your mind is as thin as your body. You make me sick to my stomach. Are you for real? I don't even know how to react. How can you say something so awful to someone you just met? Hey, come on. All right, guys, everybody just calm down, okay? All this stress is bad for your skin, you know? Aww. Yeah, it sounds like you two are so close now you're finally like sisters. I don't think that's what's going on, Sayaka. Hey, um... But that's what they have to say, huh? And I guess I'm the only one left. My goodness! Um, I went and had a look around the dining hall. I found a fridge in the back of the kitchen, and it was overflowing with all kinds of stuff. That's good. I guess we don't have to worry about food, at least. Uh... Sure, for now. But even with all that, there are 15 of us. How long can the food last? <laughs> you can just eat sesame seeds or something. Mm -hmm. Huh? What am I? A parakeet? <laughs> I don't think we have to worry about it. All the food gets restocked automatically each day. Um... At least, that's what Monokuba said. Mm -hmm. You saw him? Okay. Yeah, he came out of nowhere while I was checking the fridge, told me that, and then disappeared again. He was so fast, I can't believe someone could have been moving him around with the remote control. That's... A weaponized toy that can just appear from nowhere. I can't tell if we're supposed to be afraid or not. But... But, was everything okay? He didn't try to, like, eat you or anything. <laughs> eat her? Um, what do you mean by that? I mean, when you say eat, what kind of eating are we talking about? Oh, gosh, gross. Uh... AI Somnia, that's an insane comparison. AI Somnia Fuzz to Danganronpa. Somnia is nothing compared to this. Really? So this gets crazy. If we has the best chance <laughs> Not true. They cut people in AI. Um, do you have any favorites so far of characters? Um, if you're talking about favorite characters so far, I like the swimmer girl and the martial artist girls. 
I don't remember anyone's names except Sayaka. Um, and, um, ooh, Programmer Girl. I like those three so far. Uh, come on, man. Hey, you bastard. What the hell, fatty? You're acting like some kind of sleazy drunk dude. Actually, not like there's like good kind of drunk dude. Hey, hey, stop screwing around, all of you. Are you still asleep or something? We're prisoners here. We could all just die any second. Junko's actually pretty cool right now. She seems very normal too. <laughs> Shit. She's right. We can't be making stupid jokes right now. We gotta do something more. A voice cut through the noise, interrupting Mondo. Uh, you're all spending an awful lot of time yelling and carrying mm -hmm. on. Oh, her. Do you really think you can afford to do so? Have none of you accepted the reality of the situation? Yo! Choco, where the heck have you been? We already started the meeting without you! She didn't say a word. Instead, she just dropped a piece of paper on the table. Huh? What's this? It appears to be a map of Hope's Peak Academy. A map? What the? Where did you find this? Well, it doesn't matter where I found it. It does matter! You're really freaking us out right now! But more important, Never mind that. What's it mean? It would seem... Just look at it. The building we're in right now is laid out in precisely the same way as Hope's Peak Academy. So what you're saying is, this really is Hope's Peak Academy. It's true. Well, in terms of its construction, yes. But it looks like it's, a ha it's had a number of strange renovations done to it. Renovations? However... I don't know all the details yet. All I found was details about the first floor. Um... But then... This really is Hope's Peak. We didn't get kidnapped and taken to some other place. Huh? So stupid it's not even possible. This is where the country's future elite are supposed to come and learn? But... But if this really is Hope's Peak, where are all the other students? Mm. Hey, come on guys. Let's just stop talking about all this, you know, negative stuff. But aren't you worried? Things don't look good. Yo. Worried? What's there to be worried about? I mean, this was all planned out, right? The people in charge of Hope's Peak put up this all together, right? <laughs> Man, if I got stressed every time something like this happened, I'd have an ectoplasm shooting out of my mouth. You Ew. Know. Good things come to those who wait, right? So we just gotta chill and everything will work itself out. He's gonna die. <laughs> uh, aren't people cut in half in AI Sami Mommy? <laughs> yes, they are. Hina's the swimmer girl, Chihiro is the pro man girl, Sakura is the martial artist girl. You know about the whole ultimate localization thing? No. Me when I get kidnapped into a killing game and looking for a way out. What's the ultimate localization thing? What's your problem? Why are you laughing? What's so funny? <laughs> I'm just happy, that is all. It seems splitting up to investigate was a good idea after all. <sighs> Haven't you been listening? Looking around was a total waste of time! We didn't find a way out, didn't find who's behind us. We still have no idea what's going on. Oh. Huh? Is it not crystal clear to you what is going on? Are you okay with this? It is perfectly obvious that we have been imprisoned in some secret location with no way out. None of us had any response to that. We didn't want to accept that reality, but it was staring us right in the face. Mm -hmm. You didn't have to go and say that. I was trying not to think about it. No way out. We're trapped here. What are we supposed to do? <laughs> it's very simple. If you want to leave, you just have to kill. Stop it! Don't even joke about that. Um, everyone just calm down, please. We need to stop and think about what to do from here. Seems like... There's gotta be something we can do. <laughs> All we can do is adapt. Adapt to living our lives here from now on. That's... Live here? Are you saying we should just accept it? Do you understand? A lack of adaptability is a lack of survivability. Survival is not based on who is the strongest or the smartest. It comes down to who can adapt. Actually... As someone who has come out on top more than once, I have a suggestion. What? Huh? What do you mean? Hmm. We all understand that we are trapped here, which means we will be spending the night. However, you all remember the rule regarding night time, right? Night time's from 10 to 7, some areas are off limits, exercise caution. Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. Let's see... So regarding this night time, I think we need to add a rule of our own. What do you mean? <laughs> going out at nighttime should be prohibited altogether. The school regulations do not actually tell us to go out at night. I would like to make it official. Mm -hmm. But why? Are you okay with this? The way things are now, every time night comes, we will all start to get worried and anxious. Mm -hmm. We will all be afraid someone might try and come kill us. Huh? What? <laughs> Oops. What? We have to worry about that night after night for who knows how long. It will wear us down no time. 
I see. So you're suggesting we limit our activity at night as a, a kind of preventative measure. Indeed. However, unlike the other rules, nobody can be forced to comply. We all have to agree to follow it. What can we do? I see what you mean, but I think I can agree to that. It's like the little Gothel leader said. Without something like that, we're all just gonna self-destruct. Listen to me! On behalf of all the men here, I agree to comply! What? Hey, you can't just decide to speak for us. This is fine. So everyone is in agreement. Good. <laughs> then if you'll excuse me. Huh? Huh? Wait, where are you going? Let's see. It is almost nighttime. I want to take a shower before. I thought it was 7 o'clock. Um, oh yeah, she, uh. Fuka? Who's Fuka? Two of the talents here got changed per localization because Japanese media wasn't too popular back then, so they tried to localize them into something more familiar. In Japanese, the term they use is actually super high school level. Oh, so they're not like ultimate, but they're like for high school level, they are pretty outstanding in their field. Ultimate is a localization thing, but they are basically high school prodigies, not the best in the world. Got it, got it, got it. Thank you for clarifying. I hope you are well. So, goodbye. Moving with pure elegance, Celeste left the dining hall. Her behavior seemed na so natural, I couldn't imagine anyone even trying to stop her. So, I guess it's pretty obvious where we go from here. We'll be spending the night, it looks like. His eyes were threes, ew. Adaptability. Hmm. So, Mr. Chairman, what next? One person already left. Um, well then, what say we call an end to today's meeting? Are we not gonna eat dinner? You understand? Like she said, it's almost nighttime anyway. We can reconvene first thing tomorrow morning. Huh? Do we really have to stay the night here? What can we do? We don't have a choice. We can't go lo for long without getting some sleep. <sighs> so we have sucks. to just give up. <sighs> That's all fine and good for today. But what do we do tomorrow? So in the Our only option is to split up and look around again. And let everyone know if we find anything. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Let's do that. Aww. And we're done for today? Good. I'm exhausted. With heavy movements, everyone headed off to their private rooms. Um, Makoto, are you ready to call it a day? Yeah, let's go. Is this really where I'll be staying for the foreseeable future? Oh, that's right. I should check the bathroom one more time before I go to bed. Only the girls' bathroom should have locks on them, right? Maybe it's jammed, dude. All right, let's open it up. Rattle, rattle. It's no use. It really is locked. Bzz. Bzz. Wrong. Not locked. Holy crap. Jeez, talk about an overreaction. It's like you just saw a ghost or something. Wah -wah. Like some kind of robot bear ghost. What are you doing here? What? Makoto Naegi, this is super duper majorly bad. So bad it's almost magical. Ultra magical, awful, awful attack. In point of fact, I acknowledge that the bathroom in your room has a problem with the door frame. Wait, so the reason it won't open isn't because it's locked? The door just doesn't fit? Hey, um... Didn't you see the notice? What? Can't you read? The bathrooms in the boys' rooms don't have locks. Yeah. I mean, a lock on a boys' bathroom is kind of pointless, don't you think? Ba -bum, ba -bum. Well, it's not like it's pointless, I guess. But I'm no expert on the birds and the bees and all that. Listen up. Anyway, there's a little trick to opening this particular ill-fitting door. And that's what I'm here to teach you. Okay, ready? So you just gotta turn the doorknob, then lift up while you pull. Yes, indeed. Go ahead, give it a try. Turn the knob and lift the door up while I pull. When I did that, the door opened without a problem. <laughs> See? It opened right up! Isn't that crazy though? Your door's the only one that doesn't quite fit quite right. Uh, you're supposed to be the ultimate lucky student, right? But it looks like you're not lucky at all. Bye -bye. Anyway, I suddenly don't feel like being here anymore. Bye! Hey, wait! Damn it. Mm -hmm. Uh, ba 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 ba. Uh, Junko is actually the Gyaru, and Hifumi is a Dojin author. Oh, okay, so she's not the fashionista. She's a. She didn't look like a Gyaru. Like, her skin wasn't. Man. Oh, well. Those are their original Japanese sides that got changed to most more familiar Western versions of them. <laughs> Which are fashionist and fanfic creator. Okay. Thank you for explaining. That makes so much more sense. As such, it is officially I hope you didn't hear that car, but you probably did. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite.
Looks like it's nighttime. We all promised we wouldn't leave our rooms now. All I can do now is try and get some sleep. While still mumbling to myself, I collapsed into bed. My eyes closed almost immediately. It's not that I was ready for bed exactly, I was just utterly exhausted. It was as if I'd spent an entire day staring at a TV watching movies, or like some kind of illusion where I'd been tossed into a made-up fantastical world. Yeah, that feels about right. There's no easy way to just accept the situation we've suddenly been dropped into. So this is how the curtain closed on my first day at Hope's Peak Academy. Soon enough, I was asleep. Would it be too much to hope that when I woke up, I'd realize it was all a dream? It's kind of lame as far as endings go, but I'd be fine with that. Actually, that'd be the best. It's not a dream at all. In any normal school, Mr. Monokuma would be a kind teacher. But when I think about what's coming up, I'm just so full of pride and joy. Our ceremony earlier today was absolutely splendid. Thank you all very much. Remember that you're all students of Hope Speak Academy and strive to refine your ideals. I swear to you, I will send you all off into a new tomorrow. Except for whoever dies. Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. Beautiful day. Apparently it's morning, but thanks to the total lack of windows, there's no way to know for sure. Anyway, what should I do now? Maybe I should go find Sayaka and we can figure out where to go from here together. She did say she's my assistant now. Okay, it's decided. I'm gonna head to her room. With a newfound determination, I left my room. Oh, but Taka's right there. Uh, 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 uh. Taka. Taka? Hey. Good morning, Makoto. Good morning. Yes, morning greetings are quite a delight. Such an energizing way to start the day. You understand? Now then, let's make sure we both do our very best throughout the day. Sure. I wonder if he's always like this. Okay, so Sayaka, Say. Oh, Sayaka's right next to me. There's a doorbell next to the door. I guess that I should use that. Hello. Good morning, Sayaka. Hi, Makoto. Hi, Makoto. Perfect timing. Huh? Listen, I have a favor to ask. A favor? Um, I was just getting ready to head out. If it's okay, would you like to come with me? Maybe we could talk. Yeah, sure. Where are you headed? Uh, um, I've been thinking that there might be something around here I could use for self-defense. Self-defense? Um, well, I mean, whoever's keeping us here could show up and attack us at any time. You never know. Whoever trapped us here, whoever presented us with rules for murdering each other, Whoever put us in this insane position, she's right. We never know when they might attack. Um, so I just want to be able to protect myself no matter what happens. I can't wait for her to die because her voice hurts my throat. It's too high-pitched. <laughs> A weapon to protect myself. That's the only thing I know about this game. As she dies. Sorry if I spoiled it for anyone. <laughs> that dude is like an announcement. <sighs> oh, yeah, Madokuma. I guess he's the headmaster, so he would do the announcements. Now that I think about it, that display case in the gym entryway had a bunch of stuff. Maybe. <laughs> oh, the gym? Okay, let's go! Again? Like I said, I'm psychic. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Seriously, I just have amazing intuition. Am I really so easy to predict? Anyway, we should head to the gym. For anyone who just hates walking around the school, we got some good news. You can now teleport using the map section of the handbook menu instead of the map menu. So we're like, we're like, you can only teleport and mark waypoints. Plus, you can't teleport to places you haven't been or places that are blocked out. It depends on a certain story. So sometimes you can't teleport or find the shrine that's inside the wall. There's a chance you get to last forever. Good luck and have fun. Uh, so how do I, how, how do, I don't know how to teleport. I will walk. The gym is... The gym. 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 Downstairs? Ooh. Am I blind? Where's the gym? Laundry, bathroom, trash, people's rooms, bath, kitchen, dining. Oh, I had to go through that room. Ha 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 ha. Uh, gym, 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 gym. 
Also, I'm not running because I will. Oh, hey! Hey, Makoto. Well, look who it is. What's up, guys? What are you up to? Yeah. We're picking up where we left off yesterday. I'm really hoping we find something today. If we do, I'll be sure to let everyone know ASAP. Okay, so they don't really say anything important, so I'll just skip by them. Wait, help yeah. options. Uh, map indicator to turn it on and off. Controls. How to teleport? I don't know. Ooh. Okay, well. Yeah. Talk to my girl. Oh, oh, sorry. Uh. Okay, I'll, I'll go back and talk to her. <laughs> Is there something you need to do in the gym? Oh, not. Oh, that was to go into the gym. Uh. Oh, sorry. I can't go out. <laughs> Um, well, she wants a weapon, so a sword. Is this a sword? Oh, no, I think it's just a replica. Never mind. Still, it's pretty impressive. It's completely covered in a gold coating, but... Jeez, I barely touched it and I got all that gold stuff all over my hands. Uh, um, wow, you're right. Your hands are totally gold. Even just for self-defense, I think it's a little... Well, it's still better than nothing, I guess. Hey, um... You should take it with you. It might help liven up your room a little. Didn't you want something for self-defense? You think so? But I guess you'd be better be careful taking it back. You should wrap it in newspaper or something. Just like that, it's been decided. I don't see anything I could really use for self-defense. Take the sword! <laughs> don't worry about it, it's not like you need it right away, right? Plus, if anything were to happen, when the time comes, I'll protect you. Huh? You'll protect me? <laughs> Thank you for saying that. If I've got you on my side, I guess I don't need a weapon after all. Sayaka giggled as she said that. That mysterious smile. I can tell it comes from the heart. It makes me feel at ease. When I look at her, I honestly feel like I can do anything. <laughs> okay, we can stop looking for a weapon then. And as long as we're here, let's hang out a bit more. Uh, do we have to? Can I, can I go back? Let me out! Nope, I can't. I gotta talk to her. I know I said I want to talk to you, but now that we're here, I don't really know what to talk about. Sorry. And I was the one who invited you to come with me, too. Sorry. It's okay. I mean, if there's nothing to talk about, then we can just not talk, right? Huh? You don't have to force yourself to talk. We can just, I don't know, stare off into space or whatever. Hmm. Stare off into space? Oh, but you're probably super bored, just standing around doing nothing. Uh, um, no, it's not that it's boring, it's just... I've never really done it before. I don't have a lot of time to just do nothing. I guess that makes sense. You're not a normal high school student like me. You've got tons of stuff to do every day. Um, listen. This is kind of out of nowhere, but... Makoto, do you have a dream? Well, what about you, Sayaka? What's your dream? I'd love to hear. My... <laughs> dream is... I've always wanted to be a star. As long as I can... Why is this music scary? I thought I wanted to... I do! Her voice is annoying, but they won't let me out until I talk to her. So I have to talk to her. Uh, as long as I can remember. I grew up without a mother, you know. And my dad worked really late every night. I was always home alone. I was just a kid, you know. I was really lonely. But all that changed when I saw a pop star on TV for the first time. She was so pretty, like a princess. And she could sing and dance. <laughs> More than anything else, there was her smile. Looking at her smile, I could feel my loneliness melting away. I decided that's what I wanted to do someday. I wanted to give that kind of encouragement to others. <laughs> Eventually, that became my dream. That's so amazing, though. You were able to actually fulfill your lifelong dream. Honestly, it's really incredible. I... I did whatever it took to reach that dream. I mean it. Even some things that weren't so pleasant. Huh? You see... I honestly believe that as long as you kept chasing your dreams, someday they had to come true. But to do that, you can't take your eyes off your dream, not even for a second. Even if sometimes it's a bad dream, whether you're awake, whether you're asleep. To make your dream a reality, you have to keep your gaze fixed on it no matter what. Um... In that world, if you lose focus for even a split second, you get left behind. You have to keep on swimming against the current, without even taking time to breathe. That's the kind of world my dream lives in. Is it really that tough? It's not fun at all? Oh no! Don't get the wrong idea. It's super fun. But... But that's exactly what scares me. Huh? Uh, um... 
I enjoy every single day I wake up and get to do what I do. Everyone in our group is amazing. We're rivals in a way, but they all mean so much to me. We've been performing together since we were so young, so they're all like family to me. Without them, I would have given up on my dream a long time ago. To work together and fulfill our dreams together has brought me so much happiness. But that's why... But that's the thing that scares me the most. If the world gets tired of us, then what happens? What happens to us? Then the dream dies. Those wonderful days come to an end, and everyone goes their separate ways. Sayaka. She's trembling. She must be terrified. She worked so hard, sacrificed so much, to get to where she is. She must be terrified of losing it. see. So that's the reason I decided to come to Host Peak. Huh? What do you mean? Uh, um... Well, they say if you graduate from here, success is basically guaranteed. Which means I could keep on performing with my best friends forever and ever. At least, that's what I thought. I really did believe that, but... Now we're trapped here with no way out. They're probably waiting for me. Uh, While I'm in here, the world out there is forgetting about me! Uh... Okay, this spooky music I don't like. Yeah, this spooky music is creepy. I do like it because it feels... It fills me with unease, so love it for that. Oh my gosh, she's a chatty Cathy. When's she gonna die? <gasps> ah! Yo, you know what her face reminds me of? Um, um, um... Purple haired girl from Doki Doki. You know, when she gets, um, when she gets. That's what it reminds me of. Ah, creepy. Minute by minute, we're all disappearing. But still. Sayaka? Why? Why? I, I can't afford to be stuck in here. That was the first time I heard her cry out from deep within herself. She sounds desperate. But I can understand. Oh, excuse me. Why she'd feel that way. Trapped here this way, the dream she put so much effort into is on the verge of disappearing forever. And that isn't something that can be fixed with a few kind words. The weight she's carrying, I can't even imagine it. Sorry. Ah, <sighs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to complain. Uh, um... I kinda killed the mood, huh? No, not at all. Sorry. Yes, totally. Really sorry. Um, Sayaka. Actually, are you hungry? Before we head back, why don't we go to the dining hall and get some food? So... Okay. You want me to make us something to eat? I might not look like it, but I'm actually pretty good cook. Wow, really? What's your specialty? Chili oil! You mean the condiment? <laughs> Just kidding! She burst out laughing. Okay, that's a complete mood switch. This is creepy. Her earlier mood disappeared, replaced by the bright smile I'd quickly grown used to. But how did it happen so fast? It's almost like a mask, like some kind of neutral expression. He's giving me the ick. Yep. Same. Oh yeah, I love this music. <laughs> Anyway, we headed to the dining hall to get something to eat, before returning to our rooms. Is it nighttime already again? I should have talked to people! The only thing in my room is a fake sword covered in gold. All it does is make me feel that much more uncomfortable. Anyway, there's still plenty of time left in the day. I really don't feel like just sitting here. Maybe I'll take a look around. You're about to have your first experience with free time. Would you like to hear more? Absolutely! Live out your school life, free time. Free time, spend time with classmates. Deepen your friendships, give them presents. Get these presents from the mono mono machine in the school store. Come by early and often, sir, intimate events, new report card. Friends can open up new skills, which will encourage you to receive friendships. Time will pass. When you finish, you automatically return to your room after a certain amount of time passes. Your free time will come to an end. You know, just simply go to sleep. You have to do much forward to the story. Then anyway, why don't you try to... Sayaka Maizo, no, no, she's an ideal pirate. No! I don't want to! Uh, how do I teleport? How- te teleport. Map! Oh, like this. Okay, but if I look at it like this, I can't really see anything, so I'll just- That's laundry. Uh, what's here? This is- Rattle, rattle, door. Okay, I don't know what that box means. Hi, Kyoko. Uh, I want the school store first. I think I have two coins. Go get presents. You need presents, or your friendship won't go up with people. Okay. So I should be examining everything I possibly can to look for coins. I'm assuming this is the school store. Yes, it's a store. Whoa! Um. 
monitors. Right now it's just showing school crests. Definitely the school store. Has kind of a Japanese western blend. It seems more like a cluttered antique store. Coin! Heck yeah! Vending machine. Must be a school store then. And then I think... Oh! oh. Surveillance camera. Give me a coin! Surveillance camera. Hey, the... Okay, don't give me a coin. What's this? Maybe if I turn a knob, a price will come out. Would you like to try your hand? Learn more about it. During your stay here, uh, coins, mono coins, try the handbook menu to see how many mono coins. Put the coins in the machine, there's a chance to win a prize. More coins you use, the better chance you have of getting something new. Check the present such as whatever. Would you like to try your hand? Give it a shot. Give it a shot. I got... What was that? Open soda? Doodles? Lucky? A free one! Coffee! Cool, no more coins. Was that a bonk? That's what I thought. Um presents. Coca-Cola. Coffee. Tumble Tumbleweed. And a water flute. You need to have a flute. You pour water into the basin, blow. Mm. Wait, is there more description to that? Ah. Uh, okay. 114 presents. Okay. First of all, Swimmer Girl. Ultimate Swimmer Pro. Okay, I don't know anything else. Um, okay, so now if I go. If I leave. And if I go to the map. And, uh, dude, 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 uh, yeah, my girls, let me, wait, how do I go there? I can't go there? Okay, how do I fast travel? First floor. Well, guess I'm walking. You can run? I'm gonna get dizzy. That's why I'm not. So I think it said the girls... Right? Oh. We're in the kitchen. Kitchen. Uh, get out of my way, Celeste. Where's the kitchen? My girls! Um. Hey, did you find a way out of here? Mm. I didn't find a thing. Nothing. Zippo, Silch. Lost all my motivation. I wanna hang out! I don't know who likes any of the stuff you got. People ask this with- Oh wait, I can't talk to her because they're making me hang out with Sayaka. I don't wanna hang out with Sayaka. No. I wanna hang out with Aoi. More, more Sayaka. In a room. Oh, first floor main area. Laundry. Yeah, she's in her room. Uh, gotta be careful turning there. Okay, I think I'll hang out with her, and then I'll end the stream, because it's starting to get a late. Guess I should press the doorbell. Um, listen. You know, Makoto, I'm so anxious. I really am afraid. Hmm, should I talk to Sayaka? Um, are you going to try and cheer me up? Sorry. 
sorry for making your time out of your day like this. I did my best to comfort Sayaka. Sayaka and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Sayaka... <gasps> what would you like to give her? Double lead! <laughs> give. You see, um, Makoto, are you sure there isn't someone else who might be more deserving of this? Uh-oh, I don't think she was too happy with that. Makoto, you think you could make time for the two of us to talk? What's wrong? We- I- we just spent time together, why didn't we talk then? Why are you being so formal? I... well, it's just... I guess that was kind of formal, but... It's just because I knew I can count on you. Huh? <laughs> Having you by my side really makes me feel a lot better. Uh, um, if you weren't here with me, I just don't know what I'd do. I'd be lost. But that's why... I hate that we had to meet again under such awful conditions, but... I'm relieved you're here with me. Sayaka. Standing here face to face and hearing her say that. It's nice, but kind of embarrassing at the same time. I know how you feel. You being here is what saved me. Ah, really? <laughs> Thank you for the flattery. That smile. That mysterious smile that softens my heart. I really wasn't flattering her. That smile saved me. Hmm, but it's kind of strange, you know? I never thought I'd get a chance to really talk to you like this. All through middle school, you never talked to me. In fact, you never even looked at me. It's because you were like a celebrity. I couldn't just go around staring at you. Wait, how do you know I never looked at you? Hey, um... Because I looked at you all the time. Huh? I... I was always looking for an opportunity to talk to you. You wanted to talk to me? But... But since I always had so many people around me, we ended up graduating without saying a word. That was one of my biggest regrets. But why me? Um... Do you remember during our first year of junior high, a huge bird wandered into the school pond? Actually, now that I think about it, I sort do sort of remember something like that. Hmm. It was like out of a fairy tale. A turtle once every million years, a bird once every thousand. A huge bird wandered into the school pond during our first year of junior high. I think it might have been- How the freak am I supposed to know? Um, to be fair, I think Sayaka is freaking out appropriately. I'm- It's not a sparrow. A heron or a crane? I feel like it would be a crane. I'm just gonna go with crane. Crane? You said crane? It was a crane. It just walked right into the pond. Okay. That's right. That's what it was. Nice. One of these is a large bird. One of these things is not like the others. It was so big, the teacher had no idea what to do. <laughs> but you led it to the forest behind the school. You helped to find its way out. Well, only because I was already in charge of taking care of the animals at school. They made me do it. Should have said thank you then, but is it okay if I do it now? Thank me. I I'm that crane, you see. I've come to return the favor. Here, let me make you a cloak. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, I kinda figured. But honestly though, I was so impressed. That's why I always want to talk to you, even just once. Uh, um... I never imagined this would be how I got my chance. Yeah, if we'd better get at a train station somewhere downtown, that'd make for a nice dramatic reunion. But instead it's this weird school. Maybe, but still. I'm sure you'll help me find my way out, just like that crane. You'll save me. You see? It's just intuition, I know. But I still believe it. She's wrong. <laughs> I'm going to save her? I'll do my best, I promise that. I'll make sure it's more than just intuition. If there's anything I can do, I'm going to do it. <laughs> I believe in you. Besides, my intuition always turns out to be right. Like I said, I'm, I'm psychic. psychic. <laughs> kidding, kidding. She laughed out loud as she said it. The closer we get, the stronger that smile of hers makes me. Why is the light in our dorm rooms red? That's very eerie. I was glad to feel that way. Sayaka's report card has been updated. Melodious voice, give yourself a pat on the back, you earned it. Once we were all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. Objection, you're wrong! Oh, it's nighttime? <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the My door tongue to is the dining to hurt. hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bug fight. Today has already come to an end, but I swear, tomorrow I'm going to find some kind of clue. I swear! 
As my eyelids began to slide closed, the conversation I'd had with Sayaka that morning began to replay. Let me save! <laughs> In a way, it's almost frustrating. Even if I understand where her de desperation is coming from, I can't share in it. The pressure she's under is way different from anything a normal high schooler like me goes through. She didn't just stumble into the school the way I did. But I can't say I feel the things the way she does. Compared to her. No, compared to everyone else here. There's no doubt I just don't match up. I guess that might explain my own frustration. In that you're right. So, I'm sure that you've noticed the killing game has begun, but... There's still room for a little laughter. It seems our newest students, already so filled with despair, still have some hope of escape. Poo hoo hoo So when will it begin? When will their hope begin to die? Is it time yet? Is it time? Heart-pounding excitement! Doki Doki. I meant to tell you, quality of the gameplay looks to be muffled. What? Quality of the gameplay, you sound great though. Oh, the audio? Hmm, I wonder what's wrong. Shoot. I'll listen to it after the stream. Hmm. I hope it's not too muffled. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another bee! Beautiful day! Morning has come. What should I do today? Free time. Cool. I'm gonna save. Whoops. I'm gonna save. Okay. Did I save? Yes. But just in case, okay. Oh man! So that was two hours of Danganronpa. Holy moly. And we still haven't gotten to the the big action part yet but i'm excited to keep playing this i feel like i'm gonna have to take at least a day break between streams of danganronpa because it's a lot of talking and my tongue hurts um but yeah excited to continue this woohoo so thank you all so much for joining and i'll see you all next time stay toasty have a good night everyone bye bye GG, I'm reeling too. Thank you. Can never have enough Dangan. Well, there's three of them, so I will play all three eventually. But yeah. Bye!